Hey everybody, I'm Anna Huthmaker from Huthmaker Violins, and this is another one of our Student Stuck at Home video series. This one is all about how here at the end of the school year, you can make life easier for your teacher. First of all, I wanna congratulate you all for making it through one of the strangest years any of us has ever been through. A lot of you have spent an entire year playing on Zoom instead of making music with your friends in the classroom. And you know what? Great job for sticking it out there. Things are getting better. We're gonna be getting back to playing music in the fall, which is wonderful. So I just wanna say thank you for all the hard work you did this year. So that hard work though, is only a fraction of what your teachers have been doing. So what can you do to make their lives easier right now at the end of the year? A lot of you are turning in instruments that you borrowed from the school. So what we're gonna do is show you how to turn it in so that you create no work at all for your teacher to have to do. First things first, you're gonna clean your instrument. I want you to get that soft, dry, clean cloth. You know, the one that you all have in your case that you use every single day. A wash rag is fine, an old diaper, a bandana. And I want you to wipe your instrument down. Wipe off any of the rosin dust that's on there. Wipe off the chin rest, the fingerprints. And you're gonna do this whether it's a violin or a cello or a bass. You wanna try and get it as clean as possible. And again, we're just using a dry cloth. Now, if you are lucky enough to have some violin polish, you can use it on the instrument only, not on the strings, not on the bow. You can only use violin polish though. Do not use furniture polish. If you don't have any of this, don't worry about it. That's the least of your concerns right now. As long as you're getting it, giving it back clean, you're in good shape. And speaking of clean, let's look at your bow. So I know that you're already loosening it every day like you're supposed to, but I do, I want you to make sure that it's nice and loose. And I want you to take that same clean dry cloth and I want you to wipe off the stick, remove any rosin, wipe off the frog. We wanna send it back nice and clean for the next person. If during the year you accumulated stickers or tapes on your bow, Go ahead and peel those off, take them off so your teacher doesn't have to deal with them. And then just do the best you can to wipe it down. No polish goes on your bow. Trust me, no good can come of that. I want you to clean out your case. Now, I'd be willing to bet a lot of you have candy wrappers, music folded up underneath your instrument, love letters. I don't know what you have in your case, but clean everything out. The only thing that should be in your case is if you have usable rosin. Leave that in your case for the next student. If at some point this year, your rosin exploded and is all over the inside of your case, do your teacher a favor, clean it out. Take it outside, take a little whisk broom and just brush it all out. Get as much of that out as you can. If you have tied ribbons onto your case this year, if you've put stickers on your case, go ahead and take those off too. Again, if your teacher has 50 instruments coming back and you can save her or he 10 minutes on each instrument, that's a lot of time, right? So what do you do if you have tapes on your instrument that show you where your fingers go? The first thing you do is check with your teacher to see if they want you to do anything. What I'm about to tell you, some teachers are not gonna want you to do and you have to listen to them. I'm gonna tell you the only thing you can use safely to get off those tapes is some Goo Gone. Do I look like a grocery commercial? <laughs> so Goo Gone, you can get this at any grocery store. It removes sticky stuff that is left behind from tapes. So our price tag or anything like that. Don't use your soft dry cloth. Get a little piece of paper towel and just spray just a tiny bit. You'll be shocked at how little it needs. And then after you've peeled off your tape, you'll use it to remove the gunk. Do not get this anywhere near your bridge. Do not get this anywhere near your bow. It is oil-based. It will make a mess and cost a fortune to fix. So we're trying to do away with that. Okay, so now your instrument's clean, your case is clean, your bow is clean. Um, is it ready to go back? I wanna tell you a story about a student that came in our shop this last week little seventh grader, she had a broken string on her cello and she bought a string, we put it on for her and tuned it. And she said, thank you. She said, I'm borrowing this from the school and I wanted to return it in perfect condition. 
And I just thought that was so thoughtful. You know, your schools, they loan these instruments out to you. If something's happened to it while it's in your care, consider getting it fixed before you take it back. If the bridge got broken, don't take it back and let your teacher deal with it or make your teacher deal with it. They don't have a lot of funds. You saved a lot of money by using a school instrument. So it's the least you can do. Now, once you've done all of that, the last thing I want you to do, go to your parents and beg them to go to your local music store and rent an instrument for the next two months so that this summer you can play and play some fun stuff. Did you know you can go online, you can buy books of Disney music, hip hop music, fiddle music, Broadway hymns, any kind of music you like, Hamilton, it doesn't matter, Moana. There's books for your instrument that you can buy really cheap. Go to Amazon, go to sheetmusicplus.com and have some fun. Don't just stick your instrument down for two months. Make some music. Last but not least, don't forget to thank your teacher for how hard they've worked this year. They've been doing amazing things to make sure you have music education this year. I'm Anna Huthmaker from Huthmaker Violins and thank you for watching my video.